I'm Ina Fried with CNET. I'm here in our labs with the MacBook Air that Apple introduced recently, as well as the a Dell Latitude, a typical Windows 7 PC. One of the challenges that I think the new MacBook Air presents for Windows is it really brings some of the instant on capabilities that have been very popular on the iPhone and iPad and takes them into the computer realm. Windows 7 is certainly the best Windows machine yet at going to sleep and waking from sleep. But my hunch is that it's still not the same kind of performance we're going to see from this. So I wanted to give it a little bit of a run through. So I grabbed uh, one of the faster machines we had in the Dell. Now it's not a solid state drive, so it's not an apples to apples comparison, pardon the pun, um, but I do think it gives a sense of the performance of a typical Windows 7 machine, a typical new modern machine, and the MacBook Air. So the first thing I'm going to do is put both machines to sleep. To do that, in both cases, all you have to do is shut the lid. And it takes the Windows machine a little bit longer. You see the Apple light go out sooner. The sleep button on the Windows machine, it takes a little bit longer. But that's not something the average user is going to notice much. Now I'm going to wake the two machines, and you'll see the difference. With the MacBook Air, it's up almost instantly. The Dell, it takes just a little bit longer. Now, it may not seem like a huge difference, but I do think that over time, this is a potential advantage for the Mac, as it's able to tout really the same kind of instant, zippy experience that you get on an iPad actually brought to the computer. The Dell, it's not slow, but my experience is that over time that resume just isn't quite as zippy. It's a computer experience versus a consumer electronics experience. And that's a key difference that I think Microsoft needs to worry about as it works on the future of Windows. For CNET, I'm Ina Freed.